Now baby has Egyptian cousins. He has foreign brothers, foreign sisters. Baby has an Egyptian mother. He has foreign uncles, foreign aunts. Baby has the pharaoh himself as Gramps. For a while, I tried hiding him till I could hide him no more. For some time, I tried protecting him till I could protect him no more. I kept him safe in our house from the neighbors out of sight. I tried holding on to him till I could hold on no more. Tried so hard to cling to him till I could cling no more. Trying so hard to keep Pharaoh from casting him into the now, I ended up weaving a basket only to make sure he doesn't end up sinking. His sister had to stand guard just in case someone spotted him floating. She was smart enough to bring him back home when a nursing mother was needed. Yet I couldn't do otherwise but let him go soon after he had been weaned. Pharaoh's daughter now has him. As her own, she's decided to raise him. I guess he's been spared from her father's wrath, deciding to be called the kid's grandfather. He's allowed baby Moses to live as long as he calls his daughter mother. Yet I'm afraid he might not be raised the way I wanted him to be raised. I hid him at birth because I perceived he was no ordinary child. I'm afraid the eyes of his current mother won't be able to see what mine saw in him. Now he has to learn right and wrong from the man who is currently killing his Israelite baby brothers. I wonder whether at all my son will someday be able to distinguish his left from his right arm. I honestly just need answers. Looking up to God like I hope this is really you, it better be. I pray time is gonna reveal to him his true identity, wishing I had the guarantee. Hoping Ferris Paris won't be the place we all regret he's ever been. It's really crazy to have an Israelite raised by the Egyptians. His life has been spared, but end this another road to hell paved with good intentions. Night after night I stay awake in the company of my doubts and my fears, looking up towards the heavens, thinking of what God had revealed when I was all ears, remembering how convinced I was this young lady was but power hungry. River now being their camp, everyone living under the waters was convinced she was the girl, something I just can't forget. Perhaps I never gotta believe she was simply by the now to take a bath. Maybe she was never a threat. My thoughts really torment me whenever I think of my baby's safety. I know he's safe from Pharaoh's decree, but is he really safe? It's hard to face the reality. If this young lady was indeed power hungry, is baby really in safe hands? Will she take advantage of his innocence or should spare him completely from our fight? When he's of age, will he believe me when I tell him the lady who raised him was but our sworn enemy? Will everything between us still be alright? When he comes to maturity, will baby believe the woman who birthed him? The woman who risked her life and from Pharaoh decided to hide him? Deciding to float him when the king commanded that he be sunk in the Nile? Will he believe her or will he trust the lady who named him after drawing him out of the Nile? Deciding to raise him because she thought his blood mother had dumped him? looking towards the heavens like, are you really sure he has to be raised by the Egyptians? Asking God whether he really has everything under control. Is this my God an opportunity? Like will baby be loyal to us someday and not to the Egyptian community? Will he believe he was never one of them in the first place? Simply need assurance, please. Will he someday look into the mirror and realize that he looks like an Israelite? because that's who he really is. After having a test of loyalty, having had friends in high places, after spending most of his life in royal palaces, will he be willing to let go of all that and choose to suffer with us in all honesty? After calling Pharaoh Gramps, will his eyes perceive this man's true identity? Will my boy be able to recognize that Pharaoh is the reason the Israelites are suffering? I honestly fear for my baby's future. That's exactly why I'm always talking to God about him. 
I'm sure you get the picture. Hoping he will someday believe that the Almighty is King and rest supreme over all kingdoms. Believing he will have the boldness to disagree with the Egyptians, knowing Pharaoh and nothing close to the Almighty. My heart is at peace when I remember the Holy One of Israel's ways and ours, his great and mighty. I just want to believe my baby will someday, by faith, refuse to be regarded as Pharaoh's grandson, despite being raised by the Egyptians.